Uh, hey guys, so this is another demo in which I'm going to show you uh, a calibration between a projector and a camera. So the camera being uh, Kinect here. Uh, the objective of this project is to uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of simulate augmented reality, uh, but this time instead of your phone screen, we would be uh, uh, using a projector uh, to project onto objects or uh, persons or uh, things you know uh, so uh, but before uh, all of that we have to uh, calibrate the projector camera pair so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna show what this code will do and you can of course find the code uh, in the link down below so uh, uh, when I start it uh, I have to enter a few things which is uh, things like these so I'm gonna enter these now uh, so this is this is my primary screen resolution, and I have a projector which is uh, uh, configured in four to three aspect ratio. Uh, the uh, uh, the resolution of the projector is one zero two four by seven sixty eight. Since I have already entered the uh, aspect ratio, I don't need to enter the the height of the projector frame. And finally, I've I'm using chessboard as a calibration object. And I am. I'll be using an eight by five chessboard. Uh, you're free to choose whatever, ch uh, whatever uh, thing you like, whatever size you want, like nine by six, or um, maybe you know seven by nine or whatever you can do. But I guess eight by five suits best uh, because then uh, um, because at least thirty images are needed for a successful calibration, and eight by five provides me just that. And you're gonna see in just a moment why I have kept it in this size. And then finally, I have to enter a minimum uh, chessboard square length in pixels. Um, uh, in, in in my code, uh, the this uh, the 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 length of the square uh, uh, the length of the square of a chessboard is determined programmatically. But I still have to enter a minimum number so that uh, because uh, the code is um, depends on uh, the resolution of the projector to determine this length. Uh, but in any any case, I think there should be a minimum number so that the so that Kinect is able to pick it up. Because if uh, the chessboard size is too small, uh, then uh, and the camera simply won't just recognize it. So that's all. So we started and. Uh, you see uh, a chessboard uh, uh, being projected and then uh, this calibration is going on. So right now what's happening is uh, that uh, like this is the setup, uh, this is the projector and this is the Kinect. So the projector throws uh, an image of the chessboard and uh, the Kinect sees it and tries to identify where the uh, inner corners of the chessboard are. And um, as and as soon as that happens, uh, I apply a homography. I calculate a homography uh, um, matrix, and then I multiply it, it by by the uh, by the uh, uh, and then I multiply it by, by the found corners to get uh, another to get a projected set of uh, points. So. Uh, these are the two screens that we are, we are going to see and uh, now this calibration is complete so I'm going to show you what happens when the calibration is complete like this is what is being shown on the laptop screen now uh, Just this is the color uh, camera, this is the depth camera and this is the registered um, uh, registered color uh, frame so like now if I put my hand in front of the projector, you can see like uh, this this really dark one is the black shadow. The black shadow. This is like a shadow, nothing to do with it. But like if you see, like uh, let me place a different object. How about this? If I place a lamp, like uh, so, th the lamp is casting a big shadow. But like what what you should be able to see is like like this line. This is like uh, the right now what the uh, what the projector is doing. It, it is trying to project the lamp over a lamp. Uh, the calibration is not somewhat good. That's why we see such a big gap. Otherwise, this should have lined up properly here. 
uh, but still it's good for a demo and uh, as you can see like uh, as soon as I place my hand in front of the projector uh, uh, and, uh, another hand comes uh, is being projected on the side I have done it to show you guys like uh, uh, what is the objective here and the objective is to like um, the projector should be able to project uh, on my hand like pixel perfect and uh, uh, if everything goes right I should be able to see a shadow right behind my hand which I'm able to see so uh, I think this would be a bit more clear when I show up the when I show the unity example so uh, Anyway, this calibration is done. So what we do is we now press escape uh, to stop the program. Uh, to stop the program. And uh, th this, uh, th uh, th this project generates a calibration file. So which can be found, wait a sec which can be found here uh, x64 debug and this is our calibration file so as you can see that it uh, it, sh uh, it shows uh, two matrices homography matrix and inverse homography matrix we need them both depending on your purpose uh, like for example if you are uh, changing from camera frame to projector frame uh, you would need this and if you are going the other way around, that is you are calculating from projector to camera, then you would need the inverse homography matrix. For our purposes, we need the um, inverse homography matrix. And uh, this file is picked up, hmm. uh, this file is picked up by a Unity program. So let me open that up real quick. Okay, so ProCam calibration. So, I'm really sorry for the bad recording this time. Something happened to my screen recording software and I also needed to record the, uh, the output of the projector. So, I'm really sorry I have to do it this way. It looks a bit unprofessional, but the idea is to uh, give a demo. And uh, any questions that you have, you can uh, post it in the comments and I will uh, try my level best to answer them. So, uh, so basically, this is a Unity pro Unity project which which picks up that uh, uh, that uh, that uh, that calibration file. Let me just quickly play it. So uh, so there are two displays that I have programmed in. So first is the display one, which is nothing but like uh, you can see this is the color camera, this is the depth depth camera, this is the registered frame, and this is the undistorted registered frame. Now you can see this undistorted registered frame is it's lot it appears kind of like zoomed in when compared to uh, this frame. You can see that the lamp is like really you can see that the lamp is like really small here, but when it comes to this frame, the lamp is like big. Uh, so uh, so basically, what is happening right now is uh, uh, that uh, uh, that I I multiply this frame. I multiply each and every pixel of this frame with the inverse homography matrix and what we get is this uh, this zoomed in kind of a kind of image uh, and um, because if you observe the setup like this is the projector it projects uh, over a certain area which looks like this and then there is cam there is a connect camera obviously the connect is going to sh uh, to see a um, a frame which is much larger than what is being projected so finally we have to kind of zoom in to see what's uh, uh, to see uh, uh, to actually map uh, the projector and the camera so this is the first display and this is the second display which is which will be actually uh, uh, which will be actually uh, thrown on the projector so uh, what we are going to do is um, uh, we are just gonna, going to build the game uh, since I have already built the game uh, let me just uh, since I've already built the game let me just oh, pull it up and uh, try it so this is the app so this is the 
this is a program so I'm just simply gonna play so yeah so uh, uh, so we see a similar screen and don't worry about this background this is uh, this is what uh, I was doing for my debugging purposes the main thing is that so this is what I really wanted to show you guys that uh, the, uh, right now it, it is trying to adjust and see the, uh, and adjust and f find out which is the best uh, uh, c configuration for projection so uh, in this particular uh, example you can see that the lamp is completely covered by uh, it is completely covered by the green um, uh, by a green mask so this is basically basically a shader that I wrote uh, what this shader does it like uh, it uh, depending upon what uh, depth uh, the connect sees it colors the objects so you can see that uh, this is uh, that this is done so perfectly and, um, and now a lot of you will ask that okay if we just have the depth camera uh, why can't we just use the depth values to uh, uh, to shade a particular object why all of this homography and everything well the answer is that uh, uh, it's it's to to get more to to be accurate because uh, there is a whole lot of math involved uh, when it comes to modeling a cam a pinhole camera and it's just not that straightforward like uh, if you do it that way like sometimes uh, uh, it will project somewhere else it won't project on the exact point that you want to project on so that's why uh, to get a little bit more accuracy we have to do a whole lot of math so uh, to give you another like for example if you see this chair like uh, something blue is being projected on this chair like uh, so this is the shader that I, I wrote to uh, uh, which will, which is like uh, uh, the farthest thing will be yellow the closest thing will be kind of blue let me try placing a white object here so uh, it will be it will be more clear or, or maybe if I can put another lamp okay so now we have two lamps uh, in the in the scene and uh, they're casting very big shadows actually so yeah uh, so now you can see and that uh, uh, the projection is working almost accurately it is uh, it is missing up miss it is missing a boundary on the blue lamp and uh, the green lamp is almost fine and on the chair I don't know if you can see this but I can see it clearly that uh, the, the blue shader is working pretty nicely to to project on the on the chair uh, how about I move it a bit a bit closer yes let me just remove it from the so yeah so this is what I have been able to achieve after all of this uh, I know it doesn't look like picture perfect uh, but I'm still working on this this is like the first demo and um, the next thing is to not use homography but to use uh, stereo calibration in which uh, we treat uh, uh, the in which we treat the projector as a second camera and the connect as the first camera and then we try to do all of this uh, that is supposed to in theory that is supposed to work better uh, but there is only one way to find out which is to implement it and see what's happening so yeah uh, see you guys again next time bye